long approach you're all set up you give yourself uh, ample time to uh, slowly go and configure yourself get the gear down complete everything you need to do remove status and now you can concentrate even as pilot monitoring with what the pilot flying is doing you can assist him where required uh, to to get the approach down hey, ladies and gentlemen welcome back to waypoints aviation today we're gonna have a little bit of a play with the bus as it's called or the backup speed scale so we're currently maintaining flight level 250 my colleague will be flying today as uh, we explain what's uh, what's going on all right let's uh, jump into it so first of all we're gonna get uh, the failures that are associated with the bus and then by doing some switching we're gonna get the bus itself yeah. so first one is nav ADR one fault got nav ADR one plus two fault and with that we lose the autopilot no autopilot, no auto thrust. And that's all of them. So now we have nav ADR 1 plus 2 plus 3 fault. We can see here, looking at the PFD, we don't have any of the indications. The altitude and the speed are all gone. Before we get into the trap of doing our memory items, which are very good, of course, and you should always do them. However, since we are maintaining level, we were maintaining level at 250, with this thrust setting and this pitch attitude, we just maintain them. And that way we are already in stable flight. So we're not gonna fall in the trap of startle effect or, and we're gonna maintain 25,000 for now. We're gonna start the ECAM as soon as possible to get the bus so we have some indications here so we can uh, fly something. So it says probe window heat, uh, when you're ready? Sure. Okay, so probe window heat on, it's okay, on, we leave it, ADR 1 plus 2 plus 3 push button off. And this is the one we want. So coming up here, we go 1 and 2 and 3 off. And that way, we get the response and we get the bus. So this is the backup speed scale known also as the bus for in the air buses and it just gives you the it's technically an angle of attack indicator so it says slow and fast however it has nothing to do with your speed all it's looking at is at the angle of attack and it's telling you uh, you can fly in the green band the orange band or the triangles there you can probably go in there but you're getting towards the limits the lower limits and the upper limits and then above that it's uh, you're technically in this configuration out of the limits so this is the bus and now flying the bus is a little bit tricky for all those who have tried it in the simulators um, it, it's it's very tricky small movements extremely small movements and uh, very slow you change you wait uh, otherwise it will it will throw you off a good indication to fly is the difference between the, the where the noises nose is pointing so the the yellow box and the aircraft or the bird is so that's your angle of attack there uh, so they're very close we are about 2.5 degrees angle of attack so it's okay if we try to speed uh, slow down so Reduce the thrust a little bit. You'll see to maintain his altitude, which is provided by the GPS, not the aiders because they're gone. You see the speed starts coming down and it's not the speed that's coming down. It is, but what it's indicating here is actually the angle of attack. So you see we're now at three degrees and we are slowly increasing the angle of attack and that's reflected here in the green band it comes down 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 we don't have control over that little triangle 
this little triangle is just telling you kind of the best angle you, you should maintain in this configuration it is configuration sensitive so once we come to the approach a little bit later on we can see that it will move with the flaps as we give it flaps you're gonna go from slow to fast so we'll jump uh, into the ECAM we'll finish off there and then we will will uh, do an approach with that looking at the status page here we've got um, max speed 320 well we don't know what the speed is but we're gonna stay in the green band maneuver with care he's doing a great job with that standby instruments uh, may be unreliable we read that before speed brake do not use we're not gonna do that approach procedure we've got four landing use flap three so I can put it from now however this will be part of your configuration uh, for the approach so config 3 here for landing and uh, GPWS landing flap 3 on and uh, that's up there we can put it uh, later on with the oh actually I'll do it now since we're gonna go back and I'm gonna skip there so landing flap 3 there we go for the GPWS and landing uh, uh, yeah that's done landing gear gravity extension Okay, we're gonna do that. So we're gonna give ourselves a little bit, few more miles. Landing distance procedure apply. Alternate low, protections lost. Uh, when landing gear down, direct low. So we're gonna switch from alternate low to direct low once we go landing gear down, which is even more crucial. So it's good to know. In op systems, quick read. Uh, so reactive wind shear, predictive wind shear. Uh, flight control protections, ADR 1 plus 2, uh, rudder travel limit, your damper, autopilot, auto thrust, uh, cabin pressurization uh, 1 and 2, uh, ATC transponders, both of them, and uh, GPWS and GPTWL steering. So, a lot of in op systems, we don't, it's not something you really want to uh, fly a lot with, uh, but you have to be careful, very smooth uh, inputs. So, that's the failure, that's the bus. Now let's see how we configure with this uh, failure. All right, so we came back down to uh, 3000. We're giving ourselves about 30 nautical miles on the ILS to configure. Long approach is key for this. Otherwise, you'll be fighting the intercept. You'll be fighting the glide slope and the localizer at the same time trying to manage the speed and the flaps and configuration. Take give yourself ample time uh, so long approach and then start configuring so once we get on the localizer here uh, towards um, towards our destination we what we're gonna do is we're gonna go thrust idle and start configuring all the way down from flap zero all the way to flap full every time we get to the slow area here we're gonna go to the next configuration the gear will come down although it is not a, um, it could be a good idea to hold the gear uh, until you are established on the um, glide path as well and the reason for that is as we saw earlier it states that you're gonna go into direct low the moment you put the gear down which is gonna be also gravity extension so we're gonna to get to that a bit later on all right uh, actually let's do that captain so uh, we once you're established we're gonna go to flap full and then we're gonna deal with the gear separately happy sure. with that absolutely okay so this way we can manage our workload and not throw everything on the pilot flying or the pilot monitoring at the same time uh, we, we segregate the job. so he's thrust idle now he's ready to configure so he's maintaining 3000 we're gonna go towards the slow speed it's gonna as the speed decays it's gonna have to pull back on the nose and that will bring the us to the lower part of the green band where we can start configuring okay, okay yeah, let's go enough, close enough yeah so we're just about there so flaps four, please. speed check flap one see 
Straight away, the green band goes up. Still at idle thrust. There we go. Ready? And flaps two. And speed check. Flap two. Oh, we're not checking the speed technically, we're just checking that it's reasonable where we are. There we go. Goes up. Still, thrust is at idle. However, we're getting there. There we go. That's a bit quicker now. Yeah. Okay. Flap three. Flap speed three. check. Flap three. And now we can add some thrust to maintain straight and level. Still, we have a little bit to go for our glide, glide slope. So we're going to go for the gear down. So we've got the status page. So it says landing gear gravity extension. We know that. So the procedure is put the gear down. We're going to come down here, lift it up. And it's clockwise. One, two, three, and down. And you can hear the gear coming down. We've got three greens there. Thrust is stabilized. We've got ourselves there. Now the only thing left is to intercept the glide slope and come down the approach. Uh, and we are about 16 miles. It's showing that the uh, descent point is in another seven miles. So this is the whole idea of getting yourself back away long approach you're all set up you give yourself uh, ample time to uh, slowly go and configure yourself get the gear down complete everything you need to do remove status and now you can concentrate even as pilot monitoring with what the pilot flying is doing you can assist him where required uh, to to get the approach down